All right, so assembling these sewer arms, a lot of people crack them out. They either crack this thing or they run the ball end off and break off the, the uh, ball end uh, cup. And so I'm gonna show you how I figured out after screwing it up a couple times, best way to do it. So first off, you're gonna be screwing into plastic making threads going the reverse way because they're reverse threads. And the first thing is to take the side with the hex hole in it for the wrench and put some of the ceramic grease on it a little bit much now I've got it to where it's got grease on it ready to go and I'm going to take my new arm put my two millimeter through notice where the notch is the notch kind of keeps it lined up I put that on the end now the idea is that you want to Put this against something and this is actually going to damage this wood that I'm putting against but we're going to push the arm forward and then turn this so the idea is that we're actually starting the thread and this little notch here where the wrench goes is kind of be kind of going to be our guide so I'm pushing and I'm turning pushing actually pretty hard on the plastic toward the surface I'm pressed against. And now that it's gone a few times, I'm going to pull it off and make sure it's going straight. Sort of straight. That'll probably straighten back out. It's not 100% perfect, but it will straighten out. If it's completely crooked, there we go, it's straightened now. If it's completely crooked, it needs to be restarted. But I'm going to keep going this direction. I'm making new threads. And eventually this is going to get to the point where it wants to stop and it'll actually be able to go further, but it'll want to stop. And that's only where you need to stop for now. And basically it'll be about flush when it gets down here. And there it's reached the point. It's basically flush. Everything's straight. It's in the center. Now I'm going to go ahead and take it out and it's going to be warm because we just made threads with it. Now we're going to thread it into the ball side, the, sorry, the cup side. So take her off, put the arm down, oh, come back over, put the wrench back on, and give me a little more silicone, sorry, not silicone, ceramic grease. Looks like silicone grease for dips, but it's not. At least I don't think it is. Comes with the kit. Thread through all. Lubed up now. Now I'm going to take one of these guys. And the problem with these is that when you go in, if you don't stop, this end will just pop right off, just willingly, super willingly. So, and also the other thing to note is there's a dot on the side that needs to be the top and no dot on the bottom. The dot's on the top because the hole on the bottom is bigger to fall over the, uh, the ball cup when you assemble it. So I'm going to do this by hand, reverse threading. And these are the ones that are a little bit more tricky to get straight. Sometimes they won't be straight initially. So I like to, after the thread starts, see how it's a little up. I'm going to push it back down. Give it a little more. And then it will eventually straighten out, but it's best to start it as straight as possible to not stress it. So now what I'm going to do is while it's out of the arm, I can reverse thread it in and you can pretty much tell when it needs to stop. It'll also suddenly get harder to turn and it's going to be about where it's about that middle part of the screw where there aren't any threads and you'll feel it and it'll just be like, oh, I'm done. And it's done. If you go any further, you pop that end off like a Pez dispenser. Don't do that. So now I've got the, the ball in, I've got the arm. I'm going to put it back in, grab it with my two millimeter. And then once again, reverse thread in. And since this was already threaded, it'll willingly pull it in really easy. And the idea here is you want to go as far all the way down until the little dot there is basically starting to go under the, the upper wishbone, the upper arm. And you will end up going a little bit further, but the, the trick here is, is you're not threading any more screw into the ball end. You might be threading a little more into this arm and it can take it and it'll it'll want to stop but it's pretty close that might be enough i'm going to keep going and oh oh it won't go anymore so i gotta 
that's the end. And that's easily like four degrees camber at that setting, so it's got room to move. All right, good to go.